everyone. Today I'm going to be discussing the persistence of vision. So the persistence of vision is the theory which states that the human eye is a fraction of a second late when observing images. Now a fraction of a second is around 0 0.04 seconds if, if I'm correct. And this gives an effect of an optical illusion. So what this means is that everything we see in this world has to blend with what we're seeing now and what has happened a fraction of a second ago. So everything we see is subtle to blend to what's happening now and what happened a fraction of a second ago basically which is why it's considered to be a controversial theory. So when a film or video is being made through a number of still images, which is what we know as to be cell animation. So the frames are played, the frames are played one after another at a time of less than 0.04 seconds so that we could perceive it to be as a movie and not a bunch of still images just played one after another so it has to be played at less than 0.04 seconds for it to be a movie so our eyes can comprehend it. An example of persistence of vision it, um, can be seen when recording a CRT monitor so a couple of years ago I found something interesting and I wanted to record it on my phone and it was on a CRT monitor and I was recording and when I was recording it, it, the, the screen was flickering on my phone the CRT monitor screen was flickering through my phone but when I was looking at it through my through my eyes everything was normal I couldn't see I couldn't see nothing wrong with it but then when the phone was recording it the screen was constantly flickering and you couldn't see the information that I was trying to record on the screen so that's a, that's a good example of the persistence of vision because we can't see it with the naked eye so yeah it's one example anyway um, however when the refresh rate of CRT monitor is below 60 Hertz um, then it will produce a visible flicker that we can see with our eyes um, but with an LCD monitor, like the modern LCD monitors that the majority of us have today do not suffer from this flickering effect so even if the, the hertz or the frequencies, whatever you want to call it, whenever it's below 60 hertz it still doesn't matter, we, we don't see any visible flickering because it generates a continuous stream of light so there we have it and in the year 1912, the theory of persistence of vision was debunked by a bunch of scientists because there was no solid proof that could support this theory. So that was, I mean, that was a long time ago, but, but now there's, there's two modern theories which have solid evidence to back up this theory. And these these theories are called the the phi phenomenon and the beta movement so so yeah that's my explanation of the persistence of vision